this camera. <laughs> Count your mother days. Because I just filmed an entire vlog in slow motion. <laughs> we'll start again tomorrow. <laughs> What is popping? I just made dinner and honestly it was mid. It was so fucking nasty. And now I have to do a whole nother intro because I literally filmed an entire video and babes, when I tell you the whole entire video in slow motion. In slow, like literally, I kid you not, when I watch the footage back, it's like, like what the actual just did all the dishes. I'm about to give me some water. But we got some PR. I'm like, who's knocking on the door at this hour? At 7.30. <laughs> Great way to start off this new vlog. <laughs> Let me make sure it's not in slow-mo. Hold on. Just confirmed with myself that I'm not in slow motion. It says Sophia Richie on it. So I'm assuming that it's going to be from K18. Best hair care. So bomb. I use their shit every day. Let me use these little stupid box cutters that I got. They like suck. Why do you bitches all use these? They suck. They're so cute, but goddamn, they're like annoying. <laughs> like, am I not using it right? Anyways, let's open up this PR. Literally all day today was rearranging stuff in the basement because what I've been doing for the past two days that literally you guys haven't seen, I posted some stuff on Depop. So I'll show you guys that tomorrow, but the link to my Depop and everything will be in the description bar because, um... Yeah, I'm selling my clothes, finally. I'm selling everything so cheap. So check out the Depop. If you want to buy something, buy something. If you don't, don't worry about it, girl. Oh, she looks so good. She's so stinking cute. I actually love her. Her wedding was so beautiful. I'm guessing that they sent me just the same things that I already have, which is the leave-in mask and the hair oil, which is both so good, like so bomb. So yeah, I'm gonna give these to my mom. They sent me another package too. I'm, which I'm literally assuming that they sent me just two on accident, cause it literally looks like it's about to be the exact same package. That's literally, yeah, that's literally what this is. So now I'm literally stocked up for life. My mom is gonna love this. I'm gonna give this to my mom and she's literally gonna die. She's gonna think that is like so cool. Yay! Oh my god, thank you so much, y'all. How sweet of them. Literally, I use this stuff every single day and it has made my hair so much like do y'all see this? Y'all know I had damage. And I just use that box dye on my hair. Really crazy because I actually love that brand. It's crazy. Like getting a sponsor or getting PR from brands that you like love and spend a lot of money on. Like when I got my native brand deal, I was like shook to my actual core being like, this is crazy. Like I've spent so much money on native products. So to now get a sponsor, like that shit blows my mind. Like this job low key every day blows my mind. I'm like literally so grateful. I need to like be more on my shit with my gratitude because like in my head I think I think it you know like I think wow this is so cool I'm so grateful but like I need to start saying it out loud you know what I'm saying I feel like that's how you really speak things into the universe you need to be careful with what you say because that that shit is real life okay that shit is real life it was crazy my mom was like talking to me about it the other day about the whole pepper situation and she was like it's really crazy because I literally said that that was going to happen. Like I was sitting telling my mom, I was crying to my mom about Pepper, about how all these people wanted her. And my mom was like, well, you know what? Maybe everybody will back out and then, and then they'll just be like, you can have her for free. Tell me why that's literally what happened. Like, sometimes what you say is literally just what happens, you know, like it's wild. And I'm so grateful. You know what I mean? So I'm blessed. I'm feeling blessed today cleaning y'all like it's a vibe i was like so dead today even on days where i'm just like i don't want to do anything i still end up doing shit that needs to get done you know because my brain simply can't sit still like 
I don't think I have like ADD or ADHD or anything, but like, what is that? Where you literally just like can't, like even if you want to rest, you can't. Like, I'm so happy that I'm that way now though, because when I was like really depressed, I'm telling you, when I tell you I didn't move from my bed for like months, like, no, <laughs> like, no. Like, what really pulled me out of that was Harley. I'm literally so thankful for that girl. Like, she literally changed my life. Genuinely. Like, gave me something to do. It gave me a purpose, you know? That's why, like, her passing away literally, like, crushed me. I'm like, what do I even do with my life now? Because she just, like, helped me so much. Like, genuinely, animals are therapy, okay? And now I'm just going on a rant, girl. You know how I am, y'all. I literally missed y'all because I've been talking to you for two days, but apparently... But apparently, babes, like, we, we were talking, like, I, no. I'm already caught up. I literally caught up on Love Island today. Oh, I don't want to give any spoilers, but why the f*** did they send that couple home? I literally love her. I love her. I'm so sad. Like, if you're caught up with Love Island, like, even when they, they dumped Molly, I was like, I actually like her. In the beginning, she low-key, like, got under my skin a little bit but now I'm, she's like one of my favorites she's like genuinely like a girl's girl like you could tell you know what i'm saying and i like all of them actually like genuinely i don't think there's one girl in there that i don't like some of the guys questionable okay some of the guys questionable but like that's to be expected with men you know what i'm saying but the girls i like love all the girls um but that's that's also expected like i just usually love all the girls like you have to be a really like shit woman to for me to be like Mm -mm. you know what i mean like you have to do some snake shit for me not to like you maybe i'm just biased but like anytime i see a woman or like a woman on business i'm like you it's like you go i'm just about to make him some dinner he switched jobs so now he works so late he's probably not gonna be home till like nine but i'm about to make him like some dinner and stuff and then like housewife of the year where is it right just kidding y'all know how i feel about that or maybe you don't but i'm not like i do not need to get married i could literally be with someone forever and just like not need to get married like you can buy me a ring but like we don't need to do all the paperwork stuff i'm like not really about that like when i was younger i was like i want to get married i want to have kids i still want to have kids i want to have a family whether it's i don't care if i have to adopt my kids like i really don't give a shit like people are trying to be on me about my pcos like bitch at the end of the day <laughs> If I can't have kids, if this oven isn't, you know, baking, I'll just adopt. Like, like, people think you have to have kids that are, like, biologically yours. That kid is going to be my kid regardless. Anyways, I love y'all, and I'll see you tomorrow morning. Good morning, y'all. Tell me why I'm literally sick in bed. If you know me, you know that this is, like, inevitable because i just get sick so much i have like a really weak immune system no matter what i do <sighs> i had a really long streak going there for a second though <sighs> oh my god i'm out of breath <laughs> let me set you guys up hold on i'm literally so sad i like had so much fun stuff that i wanted us to do today Ugh. was just my allergies and yes i'm wiping my nose with a cloth okay because when i'm sick i just be using too many tissues like it's just it's too much it's, it's like so wasteful like i know that that that's what they're for but it's like i'll literally go through a whole box in one day like it's just there's no point the sickness is taking me the out i started feeling like a little sore throat last night but sometimes that just happens like when i get allergies I just took some nyquil like i'm about to knock out you just wait in 30 minutes i'm gonna be like <coughs> daytime or nighttime knocks me out like what the f they put in that shit they put the melatonins of the century okay this morning i took back an amazon return which y'all would have seen <laughs> if i didn't film everything in slow motion i got new sheets for the bed because the sheet that I, like literally the best sheets ever for the bed, they didn't match the color of the new duvet comforter. And it sent me through a viral. Like I was like, sheets don't match the comforter. I simply can't sleep in here. The thought of it like sends me, it, it's 
I don't know how my brain works, okay? But the, the sheets and the comforter not matching beds, I just couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. So I ordered new sheets. They were still too short. They said that they were deep pockets and they just weren't deep enough for my mattress topper. They were noisy. Like, why were they noisy? Like, I got on the bed and it went... Girl, what the hell? Like, I just know me sleeping, that would have pissed me off, you know? But all the reviews were really good, so I'm just assuming that you have to wash them. But I couldn't wash them because I'm returning them because they didn't fit, you know what I'm saying? So, anyways, we're back to the Target sheets. Hold on, let me show you. And I feel like they've been working good. I literally just have to, like, tie them underneath for them to fit correctly. Um, but yeah, I got some sheets like a couple weeks ago and I told you guys that I literally love them. They're the best. The Egyptian cotton, so good. They're linked in my storefront, but the color was just like, it was like a camel and I just felt like it didn't match this. Like the colors was off. Even he was like, yeah, the colors, they're off, babe. And I knew it. Like, you know what, like I can't sleep if the colors just don't match like it really really bothers me anyways beside the point i got me a little brown sugar shake and espresso it's all the way over there why is it all the way over there why didn't i grab it before i got into bed oh the pain <laughs> also why is that why the hell did she give me that straw <laughs> this morning we had to take um the boxes to the dumps because some of the boxes are just too big for my recycle bin and so I just took those to the dumps because yesterday I completely rearranged the basement. Hello, what's new? The reason that I actually rearranged it is because I want to sell stuff on Depop, which is what I was telling you guys. So I wanted to make a station where I can do that um, because I need a side hustle period like I need to get on my shit and I have all these clothes that I've spent so much money on half of them are barely even worn um some of them still have the tags on them like I just need to like get rid of some stuff and so I made like an entire station in the basement I'll show you guys when we go down there station where I sell my clothes and then obviously you guys know the studios down there um so I just like moved the basement around for it to be more functional because he said that he was gonna like he's been talking about how he wants to stream like his games and shit so I gave him my old Ikea uh desk tell me why he hasn't started streaming in the in the past year so i'm like okay i'm sorry love your dreams love your goals and you can use this if you ever are going to start doing that but i'm going to use this desk so that i can package orders on it so i literally moved everything around last night because he just plays his game in here you know what i'm saying so like literally we have the uh, 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 let me show you guys we have the ps5 literally sitting right oh god i don't even want to talk about it because it really it really fucks up my flow like these books were looking so cute on there and then he just had to go put his pee mm -mm. <laughs> Babes, I digress. We're not even going to talk about that. But sometimes in a relationship you have to make compromises. That's just is what it is, you know? As much as I would love my shit to be beautifully aesthetic and how I want it to look all the time, it's just not realistic, especially in a relationship where you want the other person to be happy as well. You know what I mean? Like, there's some shit I'm like absolutely fucking up, but there's some shit I'm like, okay. I get it like yeah I understand you know so we got the PS5 in here but now that he's not using the desk I'm like oh well I'm gonna turn it into my little station okay because look inflation is really uh inflating uh, how can people even live out here like it's just low-key miserable like life and adulting it's just pff, boo tomato tomato I hate it yeah so I'm like bitch I need to start a side hustle okay like I'm gonna start selling my feet I seen this video of this girl and she said that she does feet what is she sells feet pics on on fun with feet now look if y'all see me on there don't say nothing okay don't say nothing because like I need to be out here making ten thousand dollars a month on my feet I got cute feet I'm hoping that this night will kick in and that I can take a nap then I can wake up and go actually do something with my life because it's too hot outside to go outside this is why I hate the summer everybody's like summer summer no I hate the summer because I don't do well in the heat I'm rather the cold than the heat a lot of people aren't like that like a lot of people do prefer the heat but like the heat to me it gives miserable like it just I just don't have an enjoyable time like even when I have to take them outside I'm like they hate this I hate this like we're all miserable out here I'm trying to like use up this 
summertime where I need to like stay in the house all the time to just like get everything together in here so that I can have my hot girl fall when fall comes around. I was like reading something and it was like 10 Saturdays until Halloween or till fall or something like that. I can't even remember. And I was like, yes, like fall is my shit. And like bring back the freaking pumpkin cream cold foam. Bring it back. I feel like the holidays are gonna be really hard without Harley because I like genuinely, that's like my favorite time to spend with my dogs is the holidays because like you guys know I love to like dress them up I love to like include them in everything like festive and stuff so I feel like the holidays is going to be really hard for me but it's going to be like also enjoyable at the same time because I'll get to be creating you know new memories with my new babies and stuff it's just going to be like it's going to be different and it's going to be really really hard for me so um I'm like excited for the fall but also I'm like ugh, you know but Overall, we're excited over here. I think there's a new episode of Love Island. I'm gonna watch that until I pass out. Hopefully, I'll catch you guys later. If I don't, I'll catch you tomorrow. Sorry that this vlog, we haven't even done anything in this vlog yet. I'm sad. <laughs> but I love y'all. Some weeks just look a little bit different than others. Um, even as much as I don't want them to look, you know. But we're gonna get through it, y'all. We're gonna have a fun weekend. Or the rest of the week. Like, I... Ugh. Anyways. I'm not even gonna rant anymore. I love y'all. And I'll see you when I am feeling better. Good morning, y'all! Why is this so zoomed in? Like, I need to figure out how to get this to be, like, further away from my face. But what is up, y'all? Good morning. How's everyone doing? How's everyone living today? We are at Target this morning because there's just some stuff I need to get. In the last vlog, we, like, cleaned out the laundry room. So now I want to get stuff to fill up, like, all my bins and stuff. Like, detergent softener. The, what are the, like, scent booster things? You know what I'm talking about? Like, the scent beads. And just some more stuff. Like, I have a whole laundry list of stuff that I need to get. This is what we we're doing this morning. Y'all, I am tired. I'm feeling overwhelmed, but I'm not feeling sick. So I'm feeling good enough to, like, get on, crack on with my day. I'm like, should I get a Starbucks in here? Like, to just really make my whole experience better. You know what I'm saying? We'll see if we do that. I kind of also just want to, like, look around. Because I haven't, like, been to Target by myself. <laughs> Y'all know, Target by yourself is an experience, okay? Just shopping by yourself is an experience. Like, when you have other people with you, or, like, when you're on a time crunch, it's like, boo, tomato, tomato, this is terrible. Like, why the f*** would I come here when I want to enjoy myself and look around and I can't even look? You know what I'm saying? So, this is my summer outfit. The jumper, that's it, babes. That's it. Jumper, no makeup, just sunscreen. That's literally all I know how to do in the summer. Like, I don't know how to dress for the summer, babes. I only know how to dress for the winter. Winter, I'm giving fits on fits on fits. After my birthday, I don't know how to dress. Like, once April, May, once it starts getting real hot, yeah, girl, I don't know what the f*** is going on. I just need to order some more of these cute little fits. Got a spotlight, kind of close. This is Target right here. It says CVS, but it's like got a CVS attached to it. this cute little thing i was thinking maybe like for the laundry room how cute is that y'all know this is like my color right now i'm gonna actually put that up here so it's not in the way i got some canned dog food because our big girl is eating that right now except they didn't have her puppy food <laughs> so i got her a different one hopefully it doesn't make her shit all over the place it's the same brand so i'm like thinking it won't but this is what i get for sadie and pepper for like supplement with kibble this is like the one that they love it's the chicken and brown rice from blue buffalo so gotta get another one of those because we've been out for like two weeks so they've only been getting wet food so i need to check my list and what else we need to get the laundry stuff and cuticle cutters. Oh, I can't leave here without cuticle cutters. There's no fucking way. <laughs> no. That was fun. $200 later. Ooh, at least I got everything that I needed. And I did end up getting this. Actually, I'm gonna put this in the back seat because I don't want that to fall and break. I 
got everything. It's crazy how two bags is worth like 200 bucks. Like two bags. Anyways, I'll do a haul for y'all when I get home. I think I might stop at Trader Joe's, honestly. But I don't know. We're like low-key out of fruit. But I have two big watermelons I could also cut up. So I don't know. I like hate going to the grocery store when I don't need to. You know what I'm saying? But I'm like, should I just do it because I'm out? Like, I don't know. I love parking right next to the freaking cart return because bitch there's no excuse for you to not take the cart back get what i'm saying i thought this would be so cute in the laundry room oh my god please don't drop it i'm really trusting myself right now guys let's skedaddle on home so i can give you guys this haul i was really wanting to go to trader joe's but i'm like so like i want to eat the food we have before i go to the grocery store again do you know what i'm saying i'm making a fruit platter every morning and i've been really enjoying it that's why i kind of just wanted to go back and like grab some like fruits and stuff and um he ate my mac and cheese i'm gonna talk to y'all either when we get to trader joe's or when we get home oh babies are so cute i always think it's so cute to like look to look at them but then i'm like love to go home to my dogs you know it's crazy that society like really makes you feel a certain way about stuff like last night i was watching the kardashians and they were like talking about how they never had insecurities until people told them they had insecurities and i literally always say that i'm like i was never an insecure person until people started pointing out things to me that i was like oh my god is that true you know what i'm saying and you start questioning yourself don't can do that don't allow other people to make your insecurities for you you know what i'm saying like it's one thing if you have an insecurity yourself and something you don't like about yourself but to allow other people okay this person doesn't know how to drive let me tell you something about the road pause oh, okay i'm going let me let me tell you something about the road i don't know if this is just in la but in la nine times out of ten the person who's gonna cut you off and be an asshole and not even know how to drive at all is gonna be a tesla driver i'm so f sorry for you tesla drivers out there but every time somebody cuts me off on the road or like pisses me off it's somebody in a tesla why why how the hell are you a bad driver and the car is driving for you bitch please <laughs> no i know that it has to be in like a specific mode for the car to be driving and a lot of people like don't use that but how the f you have one of the smartest cars on the f road and you can't drive and you still can't drive how is that never been in an accident the only accident i've ever been in is this girl that i hit in high school i rear-ended her not rear-ended her like i like backed into her car and i literally don't even take that back like if you're watching this you can deserve that shit for bullying me so the only accident i've ever been in and so thank you god thank you jesus half the time it's not even you babe like you can be the best driver in the entire world it's still sketch out here because of other people you know what i'm saying like other people you're really like when you get in the car you're really putting your life into someone else's hands and i don't like that overview of everything that i got at target now that i'm looking at it i'm like this was not worth 180 bucks <laughs> There's like two items here. I got some more dog foods and their kibble. You guys seen that? I got my favorite fabric softener, the Suavitel, the soothing lavender to be exact. It's literally the best one. I love it. My clothes come out so soft and they smell amazing. I got some beads for one of the jars. I got, I don't know that I've ever used this. This might be new. I don't know that I've ever used this laundry detergent, but the method is my favorite laundry detergent. So I got some more of that. And then OxyClean. Because no sweaty, musty clothes around here. We've had to re-up on the OxyClean. Got some Stevia. Vegan Mayo. I got these are the press-ons that I got. They're like a nude French. I just thought they would be cute. Hopefully they fit my nail. Like my fingers are really wide. Hopefully those fit. I got two new hair products we have a blow dry mist because i needed a new heat protecting because the one i'm using is the sun bum and why does it smell like play-doh every time i spray it in my hair it smells like play-doh i literally can't stand it so got that one because these products smell so freaking good and then i got this one for when i don't 
put heat on my hair. It's like an air dry cream. It's supposed to like calm the frizziness and basically make your hair nice and styled and cute. Then we got some cuticle remover for my cuticles because hopefully I could do my nails tomorrow. Yeah, probably tomorrow. Then just some bread. That's it. That's literally it. All of that was 180 bucks. Living is a scam. Goodbye. I got this for the laundry room as well, just to like give it some spice because there's no decorations in there at all. A couple months ago, they had like such cute laundry decor stuff in the dollar section at Target, like those bins, like right when you walk in. I should have got some because it was so cheap. They said like laundry, they had like little framed pictures that said like all the laundry stuff and it was so cute and now I'm like, pissed that i didn't get that and they don't even sell it anymore so hopefully those come back in the dollar section because when they do i'm gonna grab them but i was like why do i need these the laundry room looks like shit but now that it looks good i'm like now we need decor you know what i'm saying so this is our decor for the laundry room but anyways i'm gonna go fill up all the stuff in the laundry room and then we'll see what the next step is You guys like usually never see the basement because I'm never down here, but I moved this desk over here. He's got like all his stuff underneath there. So he's like got to clean that out. But I'm going to turn this into my like selling clothes station. Then we got the couch, my little Ikea couch. And then we got my actual desk right here where I do like my music and stuff. The overview of the basement got my fun rugs. These literally look like two different colors it's because they are but in person they look like the same color it's so funny that on camera they look so different anyways that is an overview of the base months and then it was kind of dark in here and i didn't want to buy another lamp so i put my old vanity i hate that it's like doing that with the fucking light but yeah put my old vanity right there for more lighting and yeah that's the basement we just got a package. We just got a package. We just got a package. I wonder who it's from. It's from Amazon. <laughs> this hair, like, is it giving? Like, why is my, no. Like, we need to unbig this back because, no. I got an Amazon package. It was supposed to come like a couple days later. And it did, but it came today. So that's always good. I love getting an unexpected package early. Got these wire, like shelving unit things for the closet because y'all would have seen me clean my closet out had I not been filming everything in slow-mo. So I'm gonna show you that. Um, and we're just gonna add these things to the closet so i'll show you like all of that when we get to it and then look at what i ordered these like poly mailers oh these are a lot bigger than i thought they were i ordered a hundred of these mailers let me take one out just because i thought they were so stinking cute for when i start selling my clothes if you order anything from me, you will get it in a bag like this that looks like this. So cute. Love. These are adorable. So stinking cute. And then also they sell like holiday ones. So I'm like <gasps> during like the fall and the Christmas time, if I s continue to sell my clothes, you know, I can get um, like some different like cute ones and stuff like that. So yeah, I just wanted to get some cute mailers because the mailers at the post office like they're free and you know if you want to like really really make a profit like that um you could just use the free ones from the post office but i'm gonna mind to be like cute you know what i'm saying like i'd rather my mailers be cute 
and like waterproof and stuff like that so the clothes don't get ruined if something happens um and those ones are like you can break through them they're easy they're you could tear through them they're not waterproof at all love them i'll link them in my stationery tab in my amazon storefront if anybody wants to or if anybody has like a small business or something or it's just like mailing stuff online i think they were 40 dollars for 100 which is like it's not cheap you know what i'm saying but they are really good quality the reviews are really good so that's why i was like i'm okay with spending a little bit extra coin but if you are doing stuff like selling stuff on like Depop, Poshmark, Etsy, the post office does give them away for free. Like just like the little priority mail mailers. So I got these like wire racks. In the reviews, people said the racks were like literally useless. You have to screw shit in. No, because be fucking for real. They're like hanging baskets that you can use for the closet except I thought that they would come with more hangers and I see that they do not okay see this it's supposed to look like this and I wanted this because I am like so disorganized with my socks and my panties and like all that type of stuff so I wanted like baskets to go you'll see when we go in the closet but sucks because i thought i could hang all of them individually but they don't all come with individual hooks so that's really fucking lame look at how good i'm getting just did that shit up in two seconds i gotta like put the screws together but look it's gonna look like this and then you can hang it let me like give you a reference here you hang it like this see what i'm saying onto the rack inside the closet so it just gives you like an extra cubby basically here is the stackable hanging shelf actually you guys haven't seen any of this because all of this stuff that i completely redid was in the vlog that was in slow motion so i had to move these they were just taking up way 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 too much space so i turned them to the side so now if i pull out a pair of shoes it's literally just gonna be sideways like that i was still able to like put them you know so you can see what they are and then my yoni steam is up there i have to find a spot for that don't look at that here's all my lingerie from working with savage fenty girl like that is a lot of lunch right three buckets full and that's not even all of it but it's all there and i have just like some extra makeup that i don't use back there all of his shoes and stuff i got my bags like really hanging in the side more bags some sweatshirts that i didn't want to put away and i'm not selling and then all of his stuff he like puts me to shame like look at how all his stuff is color coordinated like we're not there yet babes we're just not there yet okay but here is the little hanging shelf thing i put together i really wanted this for my sports bras my panties sorry if you're like weirded out by panties but there they are my socks and then like other like little bralettes and stuff and then i have this little Thing from ikea like okay look in a perfect world i would have more of these but they don't sell them anymore they only sell them as part of like a closet like you have to like buy the whole closet thing to get like the and it's really stupid but these used to be so cheap i think i bought this whole thing for like i want to say like 20 bucks 15 bucks like it was literally so affordable and it they're amazing like these little wire baskets are genuinely amazing so I wish I could have a whole nother one of these situations, like right next to it, but unfortunately we could not buy that anymore. Ikea, bring these back. Like, what the fuck are you doing? Maybe it's just not in the LA locations, but every time I look online it says you can't buy these, like, things anymore. I put our little Ikea shelves on top of the dresser. Like, this is just what's working, what's functional. Like, I hate the look of it, but genuinely... I don't care about looks anymore like we're not going for aesthetics we're going for functionality um so then I have like everything just in the drawers at the doggy beds which is so nice because they have a lot more room now now that I was able to like clear up all this space like we didn't have any room to walk in here because literally we would have to like trample all over the beds so now it's nice that there's like room for the beds and all i got a vacuum and stuff there's my dirty clothes and pepper's little crate 
I actually need to take that down to the basement because Pepper sleeps with us. Um, but I have it in there just in case. She kind of likes it in there, so um, I have it there just in case. Anyways, I love y'all, and I'll see you when we're doing something more exciting. I low key want to read today. I have this book, and I started it. I'm only on page 18. Um, but ever since oh my god did i tell you guys i had a dream about harley she was in my dream and she was so excited and she was so happy to like see us and just like she had zoomies and that's all i remember like we were talking to somebody and they were like i thought harley passed away and i'm like she did and i'm like but i guess she didn't because she's right here and then Harley just fucking got zoomy. She was just like zoomy and all around. She was running. She was so excited. And then she like came into the house. And we lived in, not in this house, like a different house. And she showed me this like room that I didn't even know existed in my own house. And it like led to this like loft and this whole other room with all this furniture and stuff in it. And I'm like, then I just woke up. And I'm like, what, what the f does that mean that has to be a good dream anybody that cares to do the dream interpretation i have a dream ter interpretation book but i just like didn't look it up because i was like i don't need to know anything about that dream other than the fact that i saw harley and that genuinely made me so fucking happy because she passed away like over three months ago now and so i just kind of like been waiting to like kind of have a dream about her like in her natural form not in her natural form I mean like in her body you know what I'm saying so yeah that was like really special that was a couple nights ago um and I just like I feel like I haven't been remembering my dreams that much and I love to dream but like my dreams are very real to the point where when I wake up I'm like was that real you know what I'm saying like they're so vivid and like so real and I'm never, 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 never have I been in a dream and thought like I'm dreaming. Like my mom will be like, yeah, I can change the outcome of my dream. No, I can never change the outcome of my dream. Like how it plays out is how it plays out. You know what I'm saying? Like it just plays out to where I have no control over it whatsoever. I know a lot of people can control their dreams and they know that they're dreaming and so that they'll change the outcome of their dream. I've never been able to do that. Never, not once. Like, never. I just, it's so real to me. It's like I literally shut my eyes, go to sleep, and I'm literally in another universe, in another realm. It's like my soul, like, goes somewhere else. I swear to God. And there's, like, they've done studies on, like, what really happens to you when you're asleep. I swear to God, we, like, go to other fucking universes like i it's odd it's very odd like i don't know that's how i feel just because my dreams are so vivid and they just feel so real it's like how could my mind do that you know what i'm saying and it's really interesting because i used to only dream about people that i knew now i like barely ever dream about people i know it's always people that i don't know which i think is really interesting because like what made what switched in my brain that all of a sudden I'm dreaming about people that I've never met and don't know. You know what I mean? It's just weird. It's all very odd. <laughs> Anyways, this is my spa. I'm gonna do her lashes. <laughs> no, no scalp massage. Better keep my name up out of mouth. Baby, 
trying it. If it's beef, then let me know. Baby, why you hiding it? This is my dinner. It looks freaking delicious, if I do say so myself. I got some shrimp tacos. We got some vegan cheese, some cilantro lime ranch, the gluten-free, what are the shrimps, Spanish rice, and then these are the siete tortillas with a little bit of shredded lettuce. I just knew that was gonna be good. There's ways to eat good and still eat what you want. I'm a big believer in that because this is a fucking good. Hello, y'all. What is popping tin? Okay. Right now, we're gonna do this hair because I've been saying that I want to do my hair and like look presentable every day because it just like makes me feel better about myself makes me feel more confident so that's what we're gonna do that's why i got these new products oh also i do my nails i like these i really really like these they were like six dollars at target they're the kiss i think i showed you guys them yesterday also wearing like a new sunscreen and it's tinted it's low-key fire it's my first time trying it hold on I'm gonna link it in my Amazon store because I really, really like it. It's this tinted mineral 50 SPF sunscreen. They sent me this in PR, really good. Like really good. It makes my skin look phenomenal. At first when I put it on, I was like, oh, that is dark. But it blends into be like your skin color. Or does it? Like, am I giving up a little bit, girl? I don't know. I wish I knew how to like give myself a blowout. How? Like I have no idea and I just like don't care to learn. <laughs> Um, so hair is just like one thing that I wish was just done every day. You know what I mean? It's just one of those things because I have to do it every single day because if I like wrap it up at night, babes, <laughs> that's the biggest joke like I've ever seen. It just doesn't work for me. I can't get away with wearing it again the next day. I just can't. It'll look like shit and it'll look like... I rolled out a bit because I just did. You know what I'm saying? No matter how much I try to preserve the style, it's not preserving shit. Okay. Morning, I put in my A18, the leave-in hair mask, and then I used this air dry cream, which I feel like helped. Like, it definitely helped the frizziness a little bit, but I really need to... <laughs> do a routine where I could actually, cause my natural hair is like wavy. So if I like actually sat and use the right products, it's not like super wavy, it's not curly. It's like little minimal waves. <laughs> I don't ever like let it get like that because immediately after I get out of the shower, I put product in it and brush it. Then I have this, which is like, what the fuck is that? If I like actually tried, and like got a diffuser or just use like a strainer with a blow dryer. Like my hair would actually probably look good, but I'm like, that's just so much effort. Like it's just easier for me to put my products in it and brush it straight. You know what I mean? So then I get this look and like, it's not bad, but like, it's not good. Like let's be fuck up for real. Okay. Spray my hair with this style assist blow dry mist. Ooh. They knew what they were doing right there. But this brand is like one of my favorite hair care brands. Their stuff just smells so good. Like, oh my God, this is just smelling amazing. Because I told y'all this, <laughs> no, let me say something about this. Like, don't get me wrong, this heat protectant is good and I'm gonna use it up. But why does it smell like Play-Doh? Like, I just can't get over the fact that for the rest of the day, my hair smells like Play-Doh. I need something that's giving this okay i know that it's a 10 also makes a heat protecting spray and that one smells really good as well but i wanted to try something different so this is like a heat protecting blow dry spray and this smells amazing you guys know i have like a weird fear of my hair smelling because my head sweats really bad that's why i like always am using like different scalp scrubs and stuff like that because I have like an irrational fear of my head smelling. <laughs> like, what is that? I don't even know. I couldn't even tell you. But I think I just have like an irrational fear of like smelling in general. And my head just happens to be one of those areas where I sweat a lot. 
so like my scalp so that's that's probably where the irrational fear comes from but let me tell you something about that lash lift that i did first of all it did not work on my mom my mom has the greasiest eyelids i've ever seen in my life like the shit just kept sliding off that was miserable we're gonna try to do it again like maybe like in a like in a month or something i told her she needs to grow out her lashes a little bit because they're just really like thin and short so it was so hard for me to like do it on her <laughs> like it took an hour and it didn't do anything like we literally sat there for an hour and it didn't do a damn thing so um i hate when i do something and it doesn't work she like pisses me off especially when i try really hard like i was literally sitting there perming up her lashes like a bajillion times and it just wouldn't work so it's really pissing me off <laughs> lash lift that i did on myself can you guys see it's still holding up it's still going so strong and let me tell you something for the girlies that want to be what is it high maintenance low maintenance oh bits <laughs> um you know what I'm trying to say. Like, you do high-maintenance stuff to be low-maintenance. Does that make sense? For the girlies that want to be like that, oh, the lash lift is it. Because immediately, right when I wake up, like, I, like, put together. See, look. I look put together. I look good. Like, sometimes you have to spend a little bit more money to be low-maintenance during the week. You know what I'm saying? But that lash lift was $30. And then they literally sent me something in the mail that was, like, if you write a review, we'll give you a $30 Amazon gift card. And I was like, ah. <laughs> you better write in that review that's free amazon money like are you kidding me i'm addicted to amazon literally it's so funny too because he just started his new job guess where he's working with with amazon <laughs> i literally have learned more about amazon in the past month than i ever thought i would ever know like if you work at amazon bless your soul bless your heart like that shit is not easy like, yeah he literally just switched his job because he was like i'm not i don't want to do this anymore so he got like into um, Amazon and they're crazy over there but the pay is good bet. I need to focus on like doing something with my look every single day that's gonna like make me feel you know like put together but I'm like I just can't be bothered like someone had commented on one of my videos like I think it was like a couple weeks ago or something and she was like, I could never get on camera with no bra and no makeup. Like, oh my God, like I'd be so disgusted with myself. Like, how do you post this on the internet? And I'm like, bitch, <laughs> like, thank God I'm not you. Like, I'd literally be out of a job. Like, are you kidding me? Like, who has time to do that all the time? Like, that's just not the type of girl I am. Like, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm high maintenance in other ways, but I'm just, I don't feel the need to like put a bra on every single day and have my hair done and my makeup done like that's just not real life for me that's not really realistic to who i am as a person so i'm not gonna get on here and be fake you get what i'm saying like that's awesome for you but that's just like that doesn't fit who i am you get what i'm saying and like don't be getting on my phone pissing me off <laughs> i'm just kidding i feel like society puts more like rules and regulations on us especially like women in general than that really like needs to be necessary like <laughs> i don't need to wear a bra i don't need to wear makeup if i wanted to never wear a bra ever again and never wear makeup ever again i have the choice to do that and nobody should give a fuck but me get what i'm saying like, like the braids because like look they just are in my face like it's not giving <laughs> all right y'all the hair is done and it literally took me like 10 minutes i said fuck no to the braids i didn't like them and they were just like kind of in my face and I felt like for what I'm doing today, like they were cute, but for what I'm like, I kind of need to be moving around a lot. So I just wanted like a simple hairstyle um, and the braids, they were just like getting in my face. So I wanted something like a little more that I could just like put behind my ears and still look good, you know? What I should have got yesterday, you know what I should have got yesterday? Hairspray. That's what I fucked up. I've been using this hairspray for like a year and like there's still shit in there, but it's crunchy. Give me a good hairspray that's not crunchy. Like I can't do the crunch, but and my hair doesn't hold that well. I'm going to be honest. So I need a good hairspray that holds and is not crunchy. Please, please. It's a lot later from the last time I talked to y'all and I've got my air one broccoli. It looks like chicken. Crisped it up in the air fryer. 
What is this? This is like a pube in here. Dude, what? There's a pube on here. What? I pray to God that's mine. It was in your broccoli? It was on the plate. Got my Air One broccoli. Mmm. See. The key to the Air One broccoli is the crunch. That one was a little burnt. A little too too crispy. <laughs> Have you seen Impractical Jokers? There's this like skit that they do, and it's like <clears throat> he's like, "Can I use your phone?" And then they tell him he's got to call a white guy named Ja Crispy. <laughs> I love that show. I hate that there's only three seasons on Hulu, because it's like we just keep watching the same three seasons, but. Oh my god, that, that was so funny. I laugh at that every time. And then it's like, they use that name later on in like other episodes. So like Joe Crispy is like one of their like ongoing, you know what I mean? Like jokes that they have. It's so funny. I like Sal because he's like me. Like, he always apologizes. Yeah. And that would be me. Like, I'd be like, I'm so sorry. Yeah, I'm more like a Joe. Yeah, she's more like a Joe. She'll just do shit and it doesn't even <laughs> phase her. She's like, whatever. I just like seeing people reacting. Yeah, like she's built for that. I'm drinking my poppy. And my karma water. And regular water. I've always got drinks on deck. Drinks on, drinks on, drinks. But this, this is a combo right here. This is probably going to make me do a TF later. <laughs> No, they don't know what a TF is. A TF is something that my mom would like to call a toilet filler. <laughs> so anytime she thinks she has to take a big poop, she says she's got to take a TF. <laughs> you guys can use that information with what you will do with that information. A lot of people always ask me like, how I was so quick with like freestyling and stuff. It's literally because of her. She can make up literally anything that helped me later in life to just like be quick. You know what I'm saying? But it also helped me because I'm really good at improv now too because of that. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm a real quick bullshitter. I could I could tell a lie if I needed to, which is <laughs> which is probably not a good thing. But people always ask me how I could think of stuff really quick. It's literally because of her. I also used to make up lyrics to songs. Yeah, she would also take songs on the radio and completely change them and make like a whole song out of like a so like a spoof basically or a parody or whatever you call it. And <clears throat> so I feel like that was probably a lot of it too. Cause then it made me feel like I could do that and write lyrics and stuff and you know. So, yep. That's what you get, being living with a Miss Lori Ridges all your life. <laughs> all right, you guys, it is Saturday. We are going to Dunkin' Donuts because everybody keeps messaging me, telling me that they have a blueberry coffee now, or a blueberry latte, and that I need to try it, so I just ordered it. He's addicted to coffee. It, like, they don't know that. And then we're gonna go to Trader Joe's. I really wanna go to the farmer's market one of these weekends, but it's just way too hot. Like, it's literally way too hot. Can't even take the girls to the dog park. So, we're gonna get my coffee. I'll do a little taste test for you guys, and then we're gonna go to Trader Joe's. I went in the beginning of the week, and I was like, why have I not been going to Trader Joe's for the past couple months? Like, I've really been sleeping on Miss Trader Joe's, okay? Because it just, you get some of the best food for, like, affordable, you know what I'm saying? And they just have so many already pre-made good meals. And I just, I, that's my new place again. Okay, I'm just falling back in love with Trader Joe's again. So anyways, I'm gonna stop rambling. Let's get this coffee. Let's do a little taste test. And then we're going to get some groceries. Taste test. It's a ice latte with three French vanilla, three blueberry. You could literally just order it like that as well, but it's now a drink, I guess. It's a blueberry latte on their menu. And I get it with oat milk because no regular milk over here, babe, so it really tastes like shit. Ready? The 
French vanilla is really strong, but it's good. Mm. It's nice and smooth. I hate a bitter coffee. That's one thing. I don't like a bitter coffee. This is fire. I could have done with like two pump. If I got it again, I'd get two pump French vanilla, not three. Because the French vanilla is a little bit overpowering of the blueberry. And you know me, like I could take 20 blueberry shots and it would be amazing. <laughs> Do you want to try it? Yeah, Give me your taste test. What's the it's pretty good. It's nice and smooth. That's what I like about it. It's Real blueberry smooth. Vanilla, it's blueberry vanilla with oat milk. Blueberry. Yeah. I love a blueberry coffee art. Do you know me? <laughs> Real ones to the channel know. Oh, that's good. That's good. Thank you. Real ones to the channel know I've been about a fucking blueberry coffee. Since 2020. Since literally the pandemic. Since when I first discovered that you could put like blueberry in your coffee. And I was going. I was literally just telling him. I was like. I would come to this Dunkin' Donuts every single day during the pandemic. And I would get me my little blueberry coffee. And my hash browns. For Okay, no, y'all actually put me on. You told me to go try it, and I love it. I give it nine nine point five out of ten. What would make it better if it just had a tiny bit less French vanilla in it? But other than that, bomb, bomb, bomb. So good. It's like, like I said, nice and smooth. Like sometimes you just go to Starbucks and you're like, oh, like it just has a little aftertaste that you're like, I wasn't really expecting that. Like it's a little, little bitter. You know what I'm saying? But this is so smooth and nice. Now we're gonna go to. Trader Joe's and look at me oh my god y'all look at how the progress I'm making I don't know if you can tell but I did my hair today it only took like five minutes I just like bumped the ends put it back in this pearl clip that I got from the Japanese store <clears throat> can you see can you see the clip I don't know if you can see it <laughs> anyways so did the hair I'm two for two now babes I'm two for two now which means I'm going to be doing my hair every single day and I'm wearing that La Roche Posay sunscreen. I like riding his, his, in his car because he plays his songs and I get to steal them. <laughs> and I use them for the gym. Alright, overview of the Trader Joe's haul. Got tons of fruit. We got some, these mangoes are literally the best, the mango chunks. Got some water, or not watermelon, we have watermelons that we need to cut up, but we got cantaloupes, pineapples, and then some dried mangoes. I'm really into mango right now. And then we got some pico. I've never tried this, but I was like craving some pico. We got some tortilla chips. These are so good and so cheap. They're bomb. And then we got some mango bars. We got some blueberry. These are literally my addiction right now because it's so hot. I honestly should have got two, but we don't have that much room in the yeah, freezer. Okay. Some meatloaf, some different types of mac and cheese, sour cream because I always say that I need sour cream and I never get it. These are so good for breakfast. I'm back onto these. I used to make little McGriddles with these in Florida. These are so good and they're gluten and dairy free. We got some tacos. So we're going to do a little taco night, a little taco Saturday. These are the best snack in the entire world. Like, these are so addicting. They're like big corn nuts. The best. Like, if you go to Trader Joe's, get these. Like, you just won't be disappointed. Um, roast, some maple chicken breakfast sausages, orange juice, and these. This is my other thing that you guys need to try, like, immediately. If you like chicken or eat chicken, these so good they're literally so good i've been eating them for lunches and stuff they're just like seasoned so perfectly and yeah just some eggs guacamole strawberries you know random other random stuff but that's the haul i need someone to be patient with me someone to get money when i take it from me they don't even need to be as famous as me i don't think i meet them at the place
since I peed, but deep down I think about you all day, mommy. I know I'm a pit bull, but darling, mommy. I just wanna take you I'm about to make the viral. Is it viral? I don't know if it's viral, but it's viral to me because it keeps showing up on my TikTok and Instagram like reels pages so we're gonna make this snickers ice cream dupe oh my god i haven't heard anyone say that in so long dupe that's what we're doing so this is supposed to be like a more high protein option it's very easy to make all you need is your peanut butter of choice some either plain or like vanilla greek yogurt some melting chocolate this is dark chocolate that has like it's like baking chocolate it's like sweetened with stevia and then you can use like caramel sauce you know what i'm talking about like a caramel drizzle and peanuts but i don't have either of those things so we're just not using either of those things <laughs> i got vanilla bean because they don't have like a regular vanilla and I just thought this one sounded good anyway, so. Because like plain, like I just feel like that wouldn't be giving as much, you know what I'm saying? I just feel like plain would be giving a plain, you know? You're supposed to, so you put the Greek yogurt in the bowl. Then you get a pretty hefty scoop of peanut butter. And you mix that together till it creates like a a tannish type, like a light beige maybe. Some chocolate. We're gonna melt it in the microwave because I'm lazy. You can do it on the stove top, but I'm a lazy gal. So we're gonna put it in the microwave. Make it so it's level, you see what I'm saying? Okay, some of it got burnt. <laughs> I should have mixed in like a little water or something. Like what the, honestly, what the fuck is that? This is more how it should be. Nice and liquidy. Look at what I fucking did. Oh god. Now I gotta take <laughs> It's okay. It's okay. You just scoop this. It looks like a mud pie now because I done fucked this piece up. Okay. It's okay. <laughs> Before it hardens. Oh, this bowl is hot, 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 hot. Really just smush the chocolate all around. Now we stick it in the freezer. Can you see what it looks like? It looks like, okay, actually don't look at what it looks like. It looks fucking ass. <laughs> All right, here she is. We're about to taste test her. Could definitely be way better with caramel, caramel drizzle. And then peanuts on top. It's missing that like crunch, but it's so good. Oh my God. Not like really giving ice cream, but it's, but it's pretty good. Mm. Mm -mm. Mm.